So my first question for you is, you are originally from Mexico City. What is something that you would want people, especially audiences here in the States, to know about not just your city, but your country? Um, ooh, <laughs> that's a tough question, but I guess I w would like them to know, maybe if they don't already, that Mexico City and is a very cosmopolitan place. Um, is, is, I don't know if that's, I said it correctly, but <laughs> I feel like that's the way it's portrayed in, in the series, the Rutas Nada, and it's something many people outside of Mexico sometimes don't know. Like they expect us to be in another age. And it's just like, no, we're not. <laughs> And with the show highlighting the cosmopolitan nature, not just of Mexico City, but also that's happening in Latin America, um, what are some of the things that you feel like the show challenges with these ideas around Latin America? Um, well, I feel like uh, in general, this show like sets this itself aside from what we normally see being done in, in Latin America sh as shows. Um, we have a very strong telenovela culture and it's very hard to get away from that. Uh, of course, it has its, its good side and everything, but I, I think nowadays uh, spectators are looking for a bit more quality in the, in the content of what they're streaming. And De Brutas Nada really is like the, the manufacturing of it, when you see it, is impeccable and it looks like any other American or European show out there. Right. And with novellas being really popular, I know I grew up watching them and a lot of Latin Americans here in the States grew up watching them. How do you feel like the show differs from a novella? Uh, well, it's, first of all, I guess I would say in the, the cast itself is very, I feel like we're all very different actors and we have very different backgrounds, but it's put together. I feel like it's a, like a perfect piece and everyone is just like perfect and on point for, for their character and for their role in the, in the show. Um, but also like in the way that the camera moves around our sets, it's, it's a very, mm, I don't know, like the cinematographic language is, is very, like there's, there's a proposal about it. It's, it's not just like, ah, uh, the big, like, I don't know how to say it in English. I'm sorry. <laughs> I hate my rusty English. Um, and with um, you growing up in Mexico City and the show also taking place in Mexico City, what are your, some of your favorite parts about Mexico City? Oof, I, I love that we shot some things in, in Mexico City. Like, all of the exteriors were shot here because the show takes place here. But really, we filmed in Colombia. But coming back to Mexico City, you, we, we can see some places that are amazing, like Bellas Artes, like, um, La, where else did we go? Where, we went to the beach here in Mexico. Um, so we, we went to Santa Fe. It's, I don't know, like some very emblematic, nice places that you can see in the show. <laughs> And with filming in both Mexico City and Colombia, how do you feel like the two places differ and how do you feel like that contributes to the cosmopolitan aspect of the show? Um, well, just as you said, I feel like it contributes because in it, you see that it's, even though it's based in Mexico, there's people from all over America, the Americas um, right. who, who, who appear there. Um, but it's also, uh, I don't know, the, the, the cultures are very similar and th because of that it was very, it was okay, <laughs> it was very nice to film there. Um, it, we always felt at home and like, like yeah, Colombians are very similar to Mexicans, but there's also some big different differences like the food or just being away from home. I, I feel like that's tough in itself for so long. Um, but it was, we, I think we made a great team and a yeah. great energy. <laughs> Absolutely. And with getting into your background as an actress, how did you begin acting? Um, it, it always felt sort of natural for me because my mom's an actress too. She used, is a very well-known uh, telenovela actress here in Mexico. 
And when they asked, when I was little and her friends would ask her if uh, they could have me starring in a short film or stuff like that, she would always ask me if I wanted to. And I loved it because it was just like playing around. So I would say yes. And then eventually it just felt normal. Like, yeah, I guess this is what I do now. And uh, I don't know, it's, I, I, I felt very fortunate to be able to, to live doing what I love. <laughs> when was that like growing up with a mom who's also an actress? Ah, uh, it's great because our life was always so full of art. Like an actor's life always has to be absorbing everything that goes on around them and like reading and trying to nurture your inner creative spirit, I guess. Um, but it, it's also maybe a bit emotionally unstable. <laughs> <laughs> because there's always drama and there's always it's not just me and my mom my sister's also an actress so it was exactly. always a lot of of drama but in a good way and for the brutas nada uh, how did you prepare for your role and your character um well we worked very closely with our director rafa lara who is amazing and who had a, a very very clear vision of what he wanted to do with the show uh, he asked us to watch a couple of shows that he felt had the correct um, like comedic timing that he wanted us to to achieve in our dramedy um, for example an english series called lovesick um, and and also just him having so clear what he wanted the show to be uh, music wise um, cast wise even like the the art direction i know that he really knew what he, how he he wanted it to look um that was great so that made it really easy to to understand where christina had to 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 appear like and also i was very good friends with christian vasquez since a couple of plenty of years ago so it was so much fun acting together and having fun and having trusting each other to, to just really have fun. It's a very fun show. And I feel like as a spectator, you can really see how much fun we had in real life. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And with the show, there is this central and kind of this core focus of friendship and the beauty of friendship. What do you think the significance of friendship is? Oof, I feel like that's my, the most important message I get out of the Brutas Nada because I have a similar group of friends that I call my, my nucleus and that I know are gonna be there for me no matter what and as well as like me for them. And I feel like the world nowadays is like slowly coming apart. <laughs> so it's very important to surround ourselves with people we empathize with, people who make us be better versions of ourselves and, and to support each other. So, and yeah. And audiences will see your character, Christina, goes through this kind of this mourning period of losing a romantic love, but we also get to see her evolving and gaining all of this kind of platonic love and self-love. Um, what do you think the significance of self-love and self-growth is? Oof, well, I, that's the most important thing. I feel like we have grown up in a culture that has always romanticized romantic love, you know, like, <laughs> loving a partner, loving someone else. But it's been very recently that we've really um, like focused on, on the self-love, you know, in a relationship, the first person who has to be okay is you. And the second person is you again. Yeah. And only if you're okay and you're like stable in your mind and your emotions and in your soul, only then can you really be there for someone else. So, yeah, I feel like it's very important because if we connect with our with our self love, that automatically connects us to to the people around us. Because when you that that we you realize that we're all the same. So if you love yourself, you naturally just love everyone around you because you accept them for what they are. And with the show, what was your favorite scene in the film? <laughs> um, well, I'm I'm gonna. We had a trampa, but I really loved filming all the scenes in Mexico. Obviously, because we we got to come back to Mexico and be in our homes for a couple of days. 
but I just love how it's portrayed. I love how it's, I, it feels sort of like an homage to our beautiful city. So going around the city and just driving in the convertible car and being aware of it all and taking it all in was very, very nice. Like, oh, they were doing something for our city to, to present our city to the world. <laughs> And do you feel like you get to have kind of this collective pride in showing that and sort of paying homage to Mexico City? Totally. I personally love Mexico City. Like, I, I really think it's the best city in the world. And plenty of people I know who come here think the same thing, you know, like from all over the world. Everyone's really excited about Mexico City all the time. And it's, it's because here there's some, like, effervescence of art and... I feel like artists are really free to explore and do everything. Sometimes I like to say this is really the land of the free because here you really can do everything. Yeah, absolutely. And sort of my final question for you would be, what do you hope audiences can gain from watching this show? I, I just hope they have a good time. I feel like we've been living a shit year and we need just something to watch at the end of the day that makes you have a good time that changes your mood into something positive and that feels like a warm hug you know that you're you're watching it but at the same time you feel like you're accompanied by your friends right absolutely well those are my final questions for today thank you so much thank you so much